to see me rock the house. Listen to part of a conversation. Oh, no, okay. And the dean of students. Let's do a stupid conversation first. Dean Chandler, my name is Susan Jones. It's a pleasure to meet you. Here we go. I really appreciate your taking some time out of your busy schedule to speak with me today. To speak with me. The pleasure is all mine, Susan. Why don't you have a seat? And then you can tell me why you were so eager to schedule a meeting with me. Okay, here we go. Thank you very much. So, uh, I'm a junior at this school, and I really love it here. But I have to admit that my freshman year here was, uh, not so pleasant. Is that so? Would you mind explaining why? Not at all. Basically, I didn't have a clue as to what was going on my first year of college. I mean, uh, I wasn't sure what classes to take. I couldn't find a job on campus, even though I really needed to work part-time. Okay. And uh, I didn't know much about any of the extracurricular activities which were available to me. Uh Uh-huh. In a word, I suffered from a lack of information. Fantastic. Really sorry to hear that. It was tough, but I worked hard to learn about the school and figured out what kinds of opportunities were available to me. And that's what I'm here to speak with you about today. Here we go, GP. This is it. I would like to set up a kind of information center on campus. It would be specifically aimed at first-year students. I want it to uh, to assist Bam, students that's in it. integrating with the campus. That's it. It could provide information and advice on classes, social life, jobs, and various other topics. You know, uh, we already have organizations and people who do these kinds of activities here at the school. For example, professors provide advice to students regarding the classes they should take. You yourself have an advisor, right? That's correct. We also have a job placement office on campus, and then there's the Student Activity Center that helps with extracurricular activities. Are you not aware of these things? I am, and I have two points to make regarding them. Go go. ahead. First, they're run by regular employees, not students. So, uh, sure, these people can tell us about jobs and classes and activities, but they can't give us a student's perspective. My proposed information center would be staffed by students who could provide firsthand experience, which would be much more useful than the information students are getting nowadays. Uh, What's your second point? To be frank, most of the employees at these offices couldn't care less about their jobs. Uh If you ask them about something... They usually just hand you a pamphlet. That's neither inspiring nor interesting. (laughs) Hmm. I'm a bit alarmed to hear you say that. I'll have to look into the matter. Now, uh, as for your idea, I'm intrigued. Can you write up a formal plan for it, including staffing and how much money you think you'll need? Sure, I can do that for you. Is, um, how about submitting it to you by the beginning of next week? That's perfect. Just That's drop right. it off with my secretary. I'll read over it and then contact you to set up an appointment to discuss the matter. Okay, the so here we go. Mainly discussing? Now, this is easy. Obviously, conversations you have no difficulty with. I wrote down that she wants to start up an info center on campus aimed at first-year students to help them. So, if you look at these answers, A says the Center for Students that just opened this semester. B says the poor performances, no. C says some ways to improve student morale at the school. Huh? And, of course, D, an idea that the student has to improve with sharing information. D. Okay. All right. So, again, when it comes to the just purpose questions, and especially you answering them and stuff, it's no problem whatsoever. However, it's the lecture. So, come on, please.